Hi guys, it's me again, Fly With Me FPV, and what I have here are um, video transmitters. Uh, I believe these are the more popular ones, uh, and I tested them. Tested them using an immersion RC power meter on different frequencies. I have a, I think about five or six frequencies that we use in our, you know, FPV community here, and. Uh, I've tested them on 25 milliwatts and 200 uh, milliwatts. So anyways, I'll go quickly through the you know, video transmitters that I have here. Uh, this is the Mac 2 from uh, Ready, uh, sorry, Race Day Quads. Uh, this is the very popular uh, Isheen uh, VTX003. And uh, of course, this is a TBS Unify 5G8. This is the 5 volt uh, version, this is not the high voltage. And also, I don't know if you could see that, but I also tested uh, this Immersion RC Tramp. So I don't want to pull it out, but it's there. I tested it. Trust me, I have the results. So I'll go through how uh, I tested them. I mean, if you're not familiar with this device, you could just Google it. But basically, you connect the you know BTX there, set it to the right setting, put power and it will generate a, a number in milliwatts so this is a good tool because you will know for example you you know you set it at 25 milliwatts then you will see if the number is close to 25 milliwatts or you set it at 200 so and so on and so forth so you need to power it with a 2s uh, battery that's what the requirement is. now to power the vtx is uh, i have a pdb with uh, two output basically i'm powering it with a uh you know 4s um, battery that's that i use for on my quads and it's a pdb with a five volt regulated bc which is uh required or this one and this one can only be powered uh through five volts so I indicated that in the results now the other one the Mac 2 and the immersion RC tramp uh, should be powered that's I think what is mentioned in the uh, manual is to be powered on by a uh, through the you know direct voltage of your light bulb so anyways I have that uh, going through there and that's the one that powered the ones that can be powered or should be powered more than 5 volts so the test is to set it at 25 uh, milliwatts and then the channels that uh, i've tested are e2 which is uh I'll, I'll try to put it here right e2 5685 e4 5645 e6 5905 e8 5945 f2 5760 and A4, 5805. So those are the frequencies, channels that I have tested on each and every uh, one of these video transmitters on 25 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts. Uh, I plug it in and uh, set it to the right frequency, power it off, unplug the power, and then power it back. Wait. Uh, around 20 uh, seconds to let it settle down because the numbers will be you know kind of sometimes it's fluctuating sometimes it's just spot on it will stop there and I've done that to each and every frequency every time I move the frequency or the channel I power it off power it back on wait 20 seconds and then get that number that shows up here on the uh, immersion RC power meter now to simulate a VTX on flight. I have a small electric fan here. I can't drag it. Sorry, it's kind of power cord short, but I have a small electric fan that blows air on the VTX. That way we could, you know, simulate that it's up in the air and then flying. I noticed in some of the VTXs or the video transmitter that I tested, if there's no uh, uh, airflow and it becomes uh, warm the power output goes down so anyways that is uh how the test was done on each channel 
on each VTX or video transmitter, both on 25 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts.